Improper waste management is one of the significant problems in Iligan City, particularly in Sitio Banco, Barangay Bunbunon, that greatly affects the health security of the residents living near the sanitary landfill. Household waste is an example for this, wherein most people lack formal education or have confusion in disposing or managing their own wastes and often do not value the importance of segregation. In addition, the scheduled collection of garbage in a particular area has delays, resulting to overflowing garbage in the bins and sometimes blocks the drainage canals or gullies. Has this ever happened to you? Well, look no further. Leave it to this automated contactless solid waste segregation bin garbage sorting with notification system. The researchers conducted a preliminary survey to the residents of Sitio Banco, Barangay Bunbunon, Iligan City via online through Google Forms due to the restrictions of COVID-19 protocols. There were over 19 respondents of which the majority have difficulty in segregating biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. The results show that majority of the respondents worried about the way and how the garbage is being managed. The researchers collected all necessary data and information for this study. The researchers chose to conduct this study in Sitio Banco, Barangay Bonbonon, Iligan City since improper waste management is one of its major problems. Bonbonon is a barangay in the city of Iligan and is situated at approximately 8.2613-124.3010 in the island of Mindanao. The researchers tested each component to verify its functions based on the program's specifications. The researchers first tested the infrared proximity sensor, which is responsible for activating the system in order to start the segregation process, to check its accuracy and detecting function. The IR sensor was programmed to sense the aspects of the surroundings. The IR sensor measures the heat of an object as well as detects the motion. The test was done five times and the results were tabulated where the average distance of detection that detects 100% is 0 to 10 centimeters between the person approaching and the sensor. The second component that was tested was the two ultrasonic sensors. The first sensor was programmed to sense whether somebody is approaching towards the system. The sensor for the trash bin cover detects a person about to throw a garbage into the trash bin, wherein a servo motor is attached to it, sending the signal to the servo motor to automatically open the trash bin cover. The test was done five times to test its accuracy with respect to a specified distance range. The average distance of detection that detects 100% is 1 to 20 centimeters between the person approaching and the sensor. The second sensor was programmed to sense the garbage inside the container, monitoring the garbage to determine the threshold level of waste collected in each bin and send a notification to the household owners. The ultrasonic was tested by intentionally filling up the trash bin wherein a light emitting diode indicator was placed in order to observe whether the ultrasonic works. The height sensor detects whether the trash bin is already full or has reached its maximum capacity. The researchers tested it five times to test the accuracy with respect to a specified distance range. The 480p web camera was the third component that was tested to check its accuracy in capturing an image or real-time video for classifying wastes by filling up the receptacle with garbage to verify if the garbage loaded in the system is classified into four major types of trash, which are paper, plastic, metal, and glass. The researchers used object detection in classifying waste by utilizing TensorFlow Lite as its real-time object detection machine learning algorithm that can recognize multiple objects in a single frame to increase its accuracy for classification. A lead indicator was placed to indicate with what type of waste has been classified as based on two categories of trash which are biodegradable and non-biodegradable. The test was conducted in five trials with respect to the type of waste. The results were tabulated and the average percentage of accuracy based on the results was calculated to 93.5%. The fourth component that was tested was the servo motor to check on its capacity to rotate to the desired degrees being coded in the microcontroller. 
the first servo motor was programmed that is connected to the ultrasonic sensor to test its capacity to open the system's cover once the ultrasonic senses someone about to throw garbage into the trash bin. The second servo motor was programmed to test its capacity to move to the direction of the type of waste being classified as soon as the classification process is complete. The last component that was tested was the Global System for Mobile or the GSM module. The GSM module was programmed to transmit data from the microcontroller to the mobile device and vice versa through short message service or SMS containing the information or the status of the trash bin when the sensors are triggered or the trash bin has reached its maximum capacity based on the threshold level set by the researchers. Once the ultrasonic sensor has detected that the trash bin is full or has reached the threshold level, the GSM automatically sends a text message informing the user to notify them that the bin is already full and ready for trash bag replacement. After a 15 second delay, a signal will be sent by the GSM transmitter. The GSM receiver delay varies depending on the weather condition and the network signal strength. After numerous trials and errors, Testing all components individually and debugging the program, the researchers combined and attached the components together and tested it again. So how does the system work? An IR sensor will activate the system in order to start the segregation process. Solid waste materials generated from household shall be loaded in a container in the feed preparation of the system. A 480p web camera will also capture an image for classification of waste using object detection. When the solid wastes are being thrown into the system, it will automatically classify the waste as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. As soon as the classification process is complete, the first flap will open and drop the waste into the second flap. The second flop will then move towards a corresponding receptacle according to the direction of the type of waste being classified. The system will then be lighted with respect to its category either biodegradable or non-biodegradable. An ultrasonic sensor will be used to determine the threshold level of waste collected in each bin. When a bin is already full, a red LED will light up as an indication that the bin needs to be emptied. When the trash bin is full or has reached its maximum capacity, the system will send a text message to the user via GSM module that indicates the status of the bin. Once the user pulls the handle found at the bottom drawer, each bin can be easily accessed for trash bag replacements. Why should we use the automated waste segregation system? Look at this for example. She had been standing for 5 minutes thinking which bin does her trash belong, either biodegradable or non-biodegradable, only to get it wrong. Even when you're late for work, class, or you're doing something urgent, you just leave your trash and it will do the work for you. The system can be applied to other establishments and is also applicable to other local government units that is beneficial for its inhabitants in improving waste management. This can be placed in the households, in school, the restroom, at the office, and many more. Segregation turned to innovation.